Expecting someone else? Hi, I'm Chris O'Donnell. The bat signal has been familiar to us for over 55 years. In 1939, Bob Kane created Batman, a nocturnal superhero who fights crime and seeks justice against an array of criminal minds. Well, tonight we're going to tell you about the newest incarnation of this legendary crime fighter in the movie Batman Forever. Action! Tonight, an exclusive inside look at the making of this summer's new epic adventure. Your entrance was good. Batman Forever. His was better. Action! But first, let's meet our contestants! We're doing this stunt and you really appreciate the bat suit. There is actually a reason that he's covered in 40 pounds of rubber. Starring Val Kilmer as the Cape Crusader. Let me try, let me try! Jim Carrey as a dangerous trickster. The Riddler. I thought I looked a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer, actually. Tommy Lee Jones with a split personality as the villainous Two-Face. We call it Massacre Under the Big Top. The pressure doesn't come from the complications of the character. It comes really from the magnitude of the movie. The sets are enormous. Nicole Kidman. I think I'm the first female character in Batman who gets to kiss Batman plays a criminal psychologist who falls in love with Bruce Wayne and Batman. I'm a part of this whether you like it or not. And Chris O'Donnell, who as the young acrobat Dick Grayson sees his family murdered, then dons his own mask to become Batman's famous sidekick, Robin. You are better odds. We go behind the scenes with director Joel Schumacher. I wanted to make a living comic book, and this is big. Somebody did something right when they created Batman. Schumacher's bright new vision inspired original sets and locations. When you've got the Batmobile going at 100 miles an hour down Wall Street, that's a pretty big challenge. There's incredible new toys and a redesigned Batmobile. <laughs> it's a story that began over 50 years ago when Bob Kane created the Batman comic book. He launched a worldwide phenomenon that would lead to blockbuster movies, an amusement park ride, the Batman stunt show, and a merchandising empire. Batmobile is very cool. Uh, I'd like to, to take it home, but I don't think that's going to happen. Tonight's show will be hosted by the actor who co-starred in Son of a Woman and The Three Musketeers, Chris O'Donnell. So, riddle me this. Why is Batman forever? Now, riddle me this. How do you get all these popular actors into one film? Well, tonight I'll give you the answer to that and many more questions. This is an amazing vehicle. Can you imagine being Bruce Wayne, a millionaire playboy superhero, and you get to drive this thing around every day? Well, this Batmobile is very different from anything you've ever seen before. It has new wheels that light up with the Bat logo and a ribbed body made from the same material as jet fighters. It's a stylized automotive version of a Bat. And this single fin here goes back to the Batmobile's first appearance in a 1941 comic book. The man who gets to drive this incredible machine is Val Kilmer. He's a familiar face to many, but like this car, he's brand new to Batman. really strong is that he's a human being there isn't anything bionic so you can relate to him he has no problem being batman and that's really fun to do i mean the character knows what his world is about when he dons the cape gets in the batmobile and then the things that are most fantastical about bruce wayne have to do with basic american dream ideals he's disgustingly wealthy he's so wealthy it never comes up he's single and what he chooses to do with his free time is fight an impossible battle. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get to it. Background and action. Val Kilmer's destiny to play the Cape Crusader may have been written at age eight when he visited the set of the Batman TV series. Crawled around the Batmobile and walked around the set. I was in third grade when the first television show aired, every single classmate was you know, telling the story all through recess and by the end of the day I, I heard it so many times I was acting it out as well. And then last year, when Kilmer emerged from a research project in the bush country of South Africa, he called his Hollywood agent 
and discovered that there had been talk of him being cast as the next Batman. Well, I asked him, I said, when was it being discussed? You know, act actively, he said, whatever the day was and the date, and I figured out the time, and that particular night uh, with my partner, we'd slept in a cave full of bats, which I thought was a good sign and pretty entertaining. But this gives us a fresh Batman, and um, that's exciting. Doing the stunts, then you really appreciate the bat suit. There is actually a reason that he's covered in 40 pounds of rope. Action! We got it. Yep, you good? Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. The sparks. <laughs> so you need no padding. Right Fell out of the helicopter, you know, bang on the landing pad part of it. It's a little paddable thing. It's Fine. Action! 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 Only when you get hit in the lips. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot in the bat suit. Action! his identity. Can he have a life without being Batman? His personal story is mirrored in Dick Grayson's story. Two against two are better odds. Now, if we're the same, Bruce, help me. All right, train me. Let me be your partner. Yeah, it's about as cool as it comes. His parents die, and he's consumed with revenge. Mm, it's got to go his own way. A friend taught me that. Action! I need a name. Bat Boy, Nightwing. I don't know. What do you think? What's a good sidekick name? I was trying to think the other day what doesn't happen to him, and the only thing I could come up with is I don't think a hand grenade explodes on him. Other than that, everything. The bad stubborn refusal to expire is driving us insane! I'm blown up, walked through fire, submerged in water, buried alive, sealed into a bank vault full of acid. My brain is melted. What else happens? <laughs> That if you can't tell us a Riddler. And this cane is one of his favorite weapons. Riddler's bad news for Batman. In fact, he's been tormenting the Cape Crusader since 1948. Though very popular, the Riddler disappeared from the Batman stories for almost 20 years before he resurfaced in 1965. Well now, thanks to Jim Carrey, the Riddler's back in a very big way. Having become one of the most popular comedic actors in the world, Jim was the perfect choice to play the Prince of Puzzlers. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black bat? Do you like when I sit like this? It looks very distinguished, doesn't it? Who the hell are you? Just a friend. But you can call me... The Riddler. I thought I looked a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer, actually. Meow. He's got a little touch of Fred Astaire, a panache, a joie de vivre. Was that over the top? Uh, how come I wasn't Batman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> I didn't want to be Batman. That was it. It's just a great character because it's, it's, I mean, he starts out, you know, pretty much bonkers. So, Mr. Neyman, what's on your mind? Precisely. What's on all our minds? Brain waves. Edward Nigma, who works for Wayne Enterprises, starts out as a Texno nerd genius with plans to be a bigger and greater electronics mogul than Bruce Wayne. Two of a kind. It's about not loving yourself and, you know, seeing somebody who is the guy that you'd love to be 
and resenting him for it. You were supposed to understand. That begins a story of revenge and jealousy and competition that uh, drive him over the edge, and he becomes the Riddler and a criminal. Serve some Kahuna! But it just takes on different forms, and he gets so full of energy and evil power that you know you just can't help but love playing that. It's just it's just amazing. Let me demonstrate. The Riddler teams up with Two Face to mass produce a devious mind control and invention. It's the ultimate juice master. Uh, basically, it saps the IQ from whoever watches the television that it's hooked up to and uh, redirects the brain waves into Edward Nigma's skull. <laughs> so he's devouring people's IQ. And so he just becomes a mega intellect, although he's mad. <laughs> With the explosions and stuff, it was me right out there. I mean, there's stuff exploding all around me. I was right out there with the blasts. <laughs> it was just... Action. Let me try, let me try! Come on, man. Way back. Way back. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Lightning in a bottle. Go ahead. I love it. The idea of getting thrown in with some heavyweights. <laughs> he looks real good, covered in question marks. <laughs> 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 You're a genius. Stop. Challenging on, in some respects. It was, you know, unnerving. Like the jacket? Keeps him safe while he's jogging at night. <laughs> it keeps me safe when I'm jogging at night. It was just a great chance to go crazy. And I thought I had a lot of energy. When we come back, we'll see two sides of Academy Award winner Tommy Lee Jones as he takes on the role of Two-Face, Gotham's number one public enemy.